What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. I am so happy and so excited to talk about this. I figured I'd do just a little bit of a different type of video talking about the new 2020 Corvette. As a car enthusiast myself, I figured I wasn't going to be doing my job if I don't talk about this car because it's a hot car right now. Uh, everyone knows about it and also it's kind of cool. So without further ado, let's go ahead and let's dive right into it. So the first thing that I want to get off the top of my chest is that this is an unbiased opinion of mine uh, because I love all cars, Mustangs, Corvettes. I'm not solely hard at for, you know, Lamborghinis, Ferraris, Mustangs, Corvettes, whatever. I just like a general sports car that produces good numbers and looks decent. So I think Chevy really did a good job on this one overall. Let's talk about some specs here. We know that the 2020 Corvette is no longer front engine. It is mid engine, which changed the whole layout completely. A lot of the top line GM guys were saying for quite a few years that they maxed out the C7 platform from going like zero to 60 speeds and acceleration points and so on and so forth. So I think this mid-engine Corvette was much needed. Also, it was much predicted. They slapped a 6.2 liter V8 and they're calling it the LT two. The LT1 was in the C7 Corvette. So I'd imagine it's a lot of the same skeletons, but just some aspects designed differently, which dubs LT2. It produces crazy numbers, 495 horsepower and around 470 foot pounds of torque. That's insane. Unbiased opinion, right? I think they could have pushed it a little more to the envelope of a little over 500, but it's not that bad. I mean, 495 is crazy, but with 495 horsepower and 470 foot pounds of torque for pretty much of a base model platform, I can only imagine what GM has to offer for the new Z06s coming out or the new ZR1s coming out here in maybe a few years or so. But based off of the platform that's not a base model in Corvette, including purchasing the Corvette with a Z51 performance package, it's estimating zero to 60 in like less than three seconds. That's insane. And the reason why it's insane is because of the price point. The price point is starting at only $60,000. MSRP is $60,000 dollars guys that is insane that's like buying a supercar platform with this mid-engine think of what you're getting being the zero to 60 times in less than three seconds with that z71 package granted that package will probably not include the 60k MSRP might be a little more, but even then you are buying a very well platform that can perform very, very decent numbers to begin with. And for that, I think this Corvette is changing the market. It's changing the game. It's changing how we know of our modern day muscle cars. And I believe that this Corvette, once it was launched, it even got the attention of some Ferrari, maybe Lamborghini guys, because I feel GM did it so efficiently. It's hard as a manufacturer, I can only imagine, to get this far with a new platform, I can only imagine how much research and development went into that, meaning how much cost actually went into that. And to launch it with $60,000, a very obtainable modern day muscle car price for the general population, I do believe that they are turning heads everywhere. I wanted to talk a little bit about the exterior of the car though. So the front of the car, I think they nailed it. I honestly love it. And that goes a long ways because most people have the tendency to hate a newly designed car once a manufacturer just launches it. It's only natural. Everyone's used to seeing a Corvette in the C7 body now. You launch a C8 Corvette and they're like, man, I really don't like it. Or you just launch a new model and a new platform in general, and a lot of people don't like it because they're just not 
used to seeing it that way. This Corvette, I have a feeling, is going to grow on a lot of people and it's going to grow in some aspects in me because there are some little minor quirks that I dislike about the looks in general. Overall, I think it speaks volume when people are gravitating towards it and they absolutely love it right out of the gate. That's well done. Well done, GM. So the front of the car is aces, in my opinion. I love the front of the car. I think they did a very decent job, and they kind of carried over that C7 look, which I really like, and kind of gave it a more aggressive look with the high LED strips. But then you go to the rear of the car, and I firmly believe that the rear of the car, they could have done just a little bit better because I it seems crammed to me. It seems rush. It seems like they just could have done a little bit better. But is it a deal breaker? Absolutely not. In my opinion, I don't believe it is. It does look like a Camaro in the rear end more so than a Corvette. I've been reading a lot about that and seeing a lot of comments about that out there ever since they released that first initial picture of the Corvette. And I agree with that. But is it a deal breaker again? Absolutely not. And then when you get to the side of the car overall, the side of the car looks so mean. It looks so aggressive and so Ferrari-like. And it's unbelievable. Even people are joking all around saying that like Ferrari and Corvette, that's what happens when they make babies. <laughs> I think it's so spot on. And I honestly agree 100%, which is why I love it even more. GM, you have taken a, a muscle car, an American muscle car, and you have turned it into to keeping it to be an American muscle car to where it's achievable still, but adding an exotic type feel that it's always been missing. Even though that Corvettes have a well-known name for themselves, I think GM knocked it out of the park with this new Corvette. Needless to say, everything looks so aggressive and they carried that over into the engine itself, a 6.2 liter still. They are going with the tried and true V8, 6.2 two liter V8, even though that they are calling it the LT2 for obvious reasons, but it's just, it goes to show you that they can continue to blow your mind and come up with these different things. I know there's a lot of skepticism out there as far as this Corvette, naturally so, but give it a little bit of time and I think it might just grow on you guys, just like the C7 grew on me. I didn't like the C7 when it first came out. After a few months of seeing it on the road, I absolutely fell in in love with the new C7s, the looks of it, everything. But of course, that is just my personal opinion. And I know that there's people out there that will disagree, say C6s are the best and so on and so forth. That's a whole nother argument. But what I am getting at is that it's hard as a manufacturer to make these adjustments properly and where they get it out of the gate. They have people loving this Corvette right out of the box. I will say Bravo as as far as a marketing standpoint, GM, you have developed a hype when you started going around and showing everyone the launch date and everything, that's creating a hype and that is the best marketing tips that anyone can ever ask for really, is they got the hype before they even launched the car, which in turn gives them a lineup out the door once that launch date and once that new 2020 Corvette is reviewed. In my opinion, from a business standpoint, the marketing was aces on that. But that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. Should you buy it? I do believe that if you're in the market for a sports car in this price range, you should definitely buy it because it is really the most bang for your buck that I have seen just yet, straight from the manufacturer alone, not doing any modifications or anything like that. So I do firmly believe that this is a good buy for everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit unorthodox as to my normal vlogging and whatnot, but stay tuned because I'm going to be doing some more videos about the new 2020 Supra. So you don't want to miss out on that, guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and comment down below what you think if I should do a little bit more videos like this that would greatly help me peace